Hey guys, welcome back to my Squire P Base restoration reef and upgrade video series. My name is Chris Parochi and this is Guitar Tweaks. I explained already in the first video in this series what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, how it all started. Um, yeah, just uh, check it out. I have the link in the description box and maybe even up here as well. Who knows? I don't have a lot of time and I wanted to a lot today. First of all, before you start even finishing or doing anything with the body, you have to make sure that the pickups you want to fit in it are going to fit in it. <laughs> I was struggling a little bit with the pickups because the original pickups were two jazz pickups, even though it's a five-string P bass, which is weird, but you know, that's what Squire did, so that's how it is. And uh, I was sure that I want to have a PJ config, like um, a precision pickup at the front and uh, a jazz pickup at the back. That's like a really versatile, nice mixture of both things. The dimensions of those original Squire pickups were not right. Those were some weird uh, dimensions Squire just built and it didn't fit to the original real, you know, US made pickup dimensions. So um, I knew it, that's going to be an issue. and. Um, I wear this t-shirt for a good reason. Uh, Xavra, who is um, the owner of Franz Base, uh, go check out his uh, website. He does incredibly beautiful and awesome sounding uh, bases, custom bases. And um, he was cool enough to, um, to invite me to his workshop because I don't have proper routers at home. So, you know, I knew this is gonna be, this is gonna be something I have to do with proper tools. So um, I went to his place and we filled up the jazz pickup routing and uh, rerouted it on the right position in the right size. That was important, that's the, the bridge pickup, because there's no big guard there. So you would see if it's ugly. So that was, that was important for me. Uh, we had a piece of walnut which we fitted in and it looks pretty, it's filled up, it's even, it's, it's awesome. And the new routing is perfect for the pickup. And the neck pickup, because here is like a huge soap bar sized uh, routing at the front, um, I wasn't sure what sort of pickup I want. I didn't find a sort of vintage voice or output 5 string P pickup. Like it's really hard for some reason. You can of course custom build it, you know, some, you know ask someone to build it for you, but uh, there's none existing, what I'm aware of at least. The bridge pickup routing as told is fixed, so that's awesome. The neck pickup position has to come closer to the neck pocket. So um, I just have my little handy tool here. It's not a serious uh, router, but it is a router. And I have a little uh, construction here <laughs> to, uh, to keep the distance. So this doesn't have to be beautiful, but I need to, to come like one centimeter to the front and um, it's gonna be under the pick guard, so I don't care too much at this point if it's totally perfect in line or is it a little, you know, wobbly wobbly. There you go, it is definitely not the nicest routing ever and I just couldn't care less to be honest because it's under the pick guard and um, the only thing that matters at this point uh, because I really want to um, hurry up with this whole project I don't want to sit on it for a half a year or longer um, I just wanted to make sure the neck pickup sits in the right position in comparison to the last frets and the bridge and everything so I measured everything and this is the spot where the pickup has to go Finish! You guys were awesome. I mean seriously awesome in the comment section of the uh, first video. And um, you helped me decide something. The first uh, option was to have just a simple shell, shell pink color with very soft relicking. And option B was shell pink over sunburst. 
I loved all the comments and I totally get both opinions. Normally I'm not that bling bling kind of guy, so I like simple stuff, you know, solid colors and just, you know, simple tools. That's why I love my telly as well. Um, but in this case, first of all, most votes uh, were for over Sunburst, so shopping over Sunburst. So that's already an, enough good of a reason to go with that. But also, I want to learn it. I love experimenting and I absolutely love learning new stuff. And um, also, I think it's way more interesting for you to watch. Because if I just go for a standard refund, that's something, you know, you go online and you will find enough videos um, about someone refinishing an instrument. But I didn't find any color over sunburst or color over color um, at all. So uh, maybe there is something, maybe I just missed it. I just kind of feel that that's something interesting where you can also maybe learn something or just um, feel entertained by watching me suffering, I guess. Really interesting. I did a little test here with uh, the shopping color I have. Let me show you the first step. I um, used the primer, white primer, on this piece of wood and then uh, the shop ink. And this is the color I got. I'm not sure if you can see it, I hope. It's, it's very pink. It's like, it's not the kind of shop ink you see in custom shop guitars and basses. It's like, okay, that looks like a pink shirt. I don't want that to happen. But then, on the other half, which I'm covering up right now, I've uh, put on top my vintage tint um, clear coat. And then, all of a sudden, it looked like this. I'm so looking forward to editing this video and realizing that there's no visual difference whatsoever between the two halves. <laughs> but in, in real life, this is so much nicer than this. Let's see if you can spot the difference. Let me try to look at the camera just to see if there's any chance showing. There's a line in the middle. First thing to do at this point where I am right now is fill in the grain and right after that I will cover the body with uh, one or two layers of amber color. That's gonna be the center of the sunburst. So, let's fill some grain. I almost forgot something really important. I need to close these holes because these are the original holes uh, for the bridge that was on the base. I will definitely not use that bridge again. And the new bridge, I've checked it already, needs other holes. So I will have to close these ones. Let's go for it. Grain filler on the back.
I have to wait a little until it dries and uh, then I'll send it flat and then we can apply the first layer of finish finally. I go over the edges, the sides of the body with uh, thousand grit sandpaper. I'll just uh, make sure there's no dust left on it and um, put my self-made beautiful hanger <laughs> with a hook on the top um, on it. This goes in the neck pocket and um, yeah and with this I can hold the body better. It's like having a really short and practical fake neck on the body <laughs> and uh, I can hold the body while I'm finishing it way better and also I can hang it on the wall to uh, or on the ceiling or wherever. So as told before, my self-made little handy tool, my fake neck, goes in the neck pocket and um, obviously there are no fitting holes in the middle. These screws I've chosen are not too long so they will not go through the whole body obviously I don't want to have holes on the other side and uh, these little holes will go somewhere in the middle of the neck pocket it works it works yo let's finish this base if you're using spray cans make sure you shake them before you use them because the uh, the finish will get more um, fluid and you will avoid nasty spits and uh, all the problems when the the color runs down the body or the neck whatever you're finishing um, it helps a lot so uh, patience young padawan All right, let's start finishing this baby. I'm so excited. I will have to wait until the amber color dries and then in a couple of days I can send it back and continue with all the other layers. If you want to find out what this weird thing is, how this will help us or something like this built out of this cardboard, you will have to check back and uh, watch all the other episodes coming up in a few weeks. So you guys take it easy, see you down there in the comment section, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Cheers!